Hey guys, welcome to another week of my creative year. This week we're going to talk about fiber. Now there is a lot of different ways that you can take this prompt and I'm sure the other teachers are going to take it um, in a, each in their own way. I'm going to do my own way and I am going to um, crochet some trim onto a tag. Now <clears throat> don't freak out like I don't know how to crochet, I don't, you know, I can't be ball. You don't have to know how. So there's a lot of other ways that you could do this and we will talk about them as the process, as I work through the process. Um, but um, to start with, let me just show you really quick how to do it. I'm going to use this bigger tag because the tag I'm actually going to use for the page I think is this little uh, clothing tag, but um, it's a little small. So I think I'm going to zoom in and show you on this one. now. To start with, I have these two punches, which took me a while to find because I put them away in a safe place. <laughs> these are leather hole punches for um, marking out your stitching on the edge of leather. So, But I got these to use on paper. Um, so to start with, I think we're going to use, they're obviously different um, you know, distances apart. I think we're going to just go with a bigger one. And I'm of course not going to mark anything out, but this is going to get it a little loud. I'm going to line it up on the paper a little bit from the edge, like an eighth of an inch from the edge, from the top edge and the side edge, and then give it a whack. And then you get two holes. Yeah. So I'm going to do that all the way down and I'll be right back. While I was at it, I punched the at long edge of the store tag too. Okay, so now we have all these holes along the edge. You're going to need some embroidery floss or this is crochet thread which I happen to have a bunch of because I used to crochet doilies so I pulled out a color that will go with the journal page that um, I want to add this to and I may end up actually adding both of these but we'll see um, you're going to need a really small crochet hook one that <clears throat> fits in the hole enough to grab the thread. Let's see. Yeah, that one might work better. Okay, I'm going to need my reading glasses because, yeah, this is teeny tiny. All right, we're going to take our thread and we're going to make a slip knot. So you make a loop and then you pull the thread through the loop and that makes a slip knot. Pull it over put the hook in the in the loop and then pull it tight okay and to start with we're going to do a row of single crochet across the tag in the holes so we're going to put the crochet hook with the thread on it through a hole we're going to grab the long not the tail but the long piece of thread this way and then we're going to grab it with the hook and pull it through and then Pull it through both loops. I pulled that a little tight, so let's do that again. So don't pull this too tight. You are crocheting on paper, so take that into account when you're doing this, especially for the first row. So you don't want to pull it too tight. That was too tight on the hook. Okay. So now we pulled the long thread through the hole and we still have that original loop on the hook. Can you see that? So now I'm going to grab some more thread and pull it through both of those. You know, it's hard doing this while I'm filming. <laughs> pull it through both of those loops and that's a single crochet. So I'm going to do that all the way across. So I see I have two loops and I'm going to grab the thread and do, pull it through both, do it again. Again, don't pull it too tight because it makes it really hard. I'm used to like crocheting on fabric and this is different because it's paper. So you want to get something that looks like that on the edge. This 
This is something you could sit and do in front of the TV at night or turn up the radio. Oops. Lost it. I'm out of practice crocheting with these little tiny hooks, as you can tell. Those of you out there who do crochet. So this is crochet cotton. I think this is 10. This is size 10 crochet cotton. This is uh, Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth, just Lizbeth. And it is color, I don't know what color it is. Uh, color 658. And this is crochet hook. This is a boil. I think boy. No boy. B O Y E. Um, 1.3 millimeter size 10. You can get those punches at any arts and crafts store that sells leather crafting supplies. Um, if you have a store in your area that is only sells leather crafting supplies like we have a few in the Bay Area not as many as we used to we have a store called Tandy Leather they do have an online shop I will link them in the description below um, where you can get some things like that okay so now we're all the way to the end and I'm going to crochet two chains so I have one loop on the hook I'm going to grab the thread pull it through I'm going to do that twice. Okay. I'll show you again. I'll go back. One, two. Okay, we're going to turn it around, the card around. We're going to grab an extra loop of thread on the hook. So we have one loop on the hook. We're going to grab some more thread. We're going to put the hook into this first chain that we made, and we're going to pull that. Um, thread through again so we have three loops on the hook. We're going to pull some more thread through two of those loops so we only have two on the hook and then pull some more thread through the last two loops and that is a double crochet. The first two chains count as one double crochet and that one I just made is two so we're going to do let's see three Four, usually I do five to seven, okay wait, we lost track of that one, so let's see, one, two, three, four. Anybody keep track of how many that was? I lost track. I think that's five. Um, we're going to do seven because I don't like the way that looks. So we're going to do seven. So we'll do two more. Okay. Then we're going to skip a chain. And we're going to go into this one. And we're going to grab some th thread. So we have two loops on the hook. We're going to pull some more thread through both of those loop loops. That's called a single crochet. So you have this little fan part and then a single crochet. And we're going to grab some more thread on our hook. We're going to skip a chain and go into this one. And we're going to do seven more double crochets. Again, if you don't know how to crochet, you're very much not interested in learning, that's all totally okay. Think about taking some um, tr fabric trims, maybe even a crochet trim that you have, an old piece of lace, an old piece of fabric, and hand stitching it or gluing it to the edge of a tag, to the edge of your journal page, because you actually could do this in your journal page. You could mach machine stitch it on with a sewing machine. Six. It's hard to ta um, count when I'm talking. 
boop, 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 almost lost it. Oop, did lose that one. There we go. Okay, so skip one, go into this one, do a single crochet again, grab some yarn so we have two on the hook, then pull some more yarn through, then grab an extra piece of yarn, skip another one, go into the next one, and do it over again, and you're going to get this all the way across. You could um, skip putting fabric on here all together, and you could um, just glue a piece of a doily on. But keep in mind that the prompt this month is stitches. Um, the topic this month month is stitches, and the prompt this week for my creative year is fibers. Um, you could just glue a bunch of um, yarn fibers or thread fibers onto the edge of your card. You could just tie some, you know, decorative knots into the fibers and then glue them down. Um, th really think outside the box and see what you can come up with. I'd love to see what you guys do. Two more. Okay, skip one, single crochet, grab some extra yarn, skip one and do seven more. We're almost done, almost to the edge. So this is a scallop edge. My grandmother, it's one of the first ones my grandmother taught me. Uh, in those days we were doing it on the edge of a handkerchief which I don't think I ever finished, so I don't know where that handkerchief ever went to. Six. Seven, okay, we're gonna end in the very last stitch where that slip knot is with a single crochet. Maybe we are, there we go. And then take your thread through the loop that's on the hook and pull it through and then cut, cut this part. Pull the yarn ball thread out and then see, pull, pull that tight. There you go. Now, you know, we're mixed media artists, so we are likely to just leave these hanging. If you were um, working on a proper project, you would weave them back in. Um, I don't know that I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna just leave them hanging. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I do think I'm going to add this other piece on. I am going to first, though, find a pen that's a similar or the same color as the thread that I just used. Oops. I have these pit pens. Let's see. That one's pretty close. That one's too dark, so we're going to use this one. I don't think this one's like... No, that's too green. can't get it back in the little pen thing. Okay, so I think we're going to use this. I do have a paint pen, but I don't think it's the right color. And or, you know, those of you who have paint pens know, like, they don't ever work when you want them to. Oh, I actually take that back. That might work. We might use both. So I have a couple pens. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our quote, which is laughter is the best medicine that I printed from something that I saw online because I didn't have that quote in my stash of words and I wanted that particular quote so we're going to cut it apart at least in two I'm wondering see. So if we did it like this, with this, or if we did this, like this, Okay, so I think I want to use a glue stick and we're going to put the laughter on the craft card stock. We're going to just go for it. Okay, we're going to cut this up a little bit more. Make it a little bit smaller. And then glue. I'm not going to think about it too much. I'm just going to get it done. Okay. I am going to take my white paint pen which I used earlier on the face. This paint pen is not opaque, so some of that writing will still show through, which is fine with me. I just want to make it less distracting from the words because the words are the most important thing. And then I'm going to lay this on here and I'm going to add some white paint pen to the craft cardstock. just so everything looks cohesive. I'm gonna get out my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, my favorite art journaling tool. We're gonna to just staple. Love adding staples. If you've been watching me for a while, you know this. Oh, except there's no more in there. <laughs> it's the second time today I've had a stapler run out of staples on me. Okay, let's grab some. Okay. Bring 
this back. Zoom out. Okay. Figure out where we want to put it and just chop it off. Don't throw that part away. You can still use it for something else. Okay, I'm going to staple that on. Try not to get my fingers stuck in any like wet paint pen or something. Okay, now I wanted to get these other blue pens out because I want to mimic the design of the crochet, the loops, somewhere else on the page, at least one more place, so that it doesn't look like it's just there by itself. I don't, at the same time, oh, do I want to do it in pen? I have another idea. I'll be right back. Okay, the idea that I had was, you know, instead of drawing something, I've got the yard thread out, I've got the hooks out, why don't I just make another separate piece of the lace trim, which I did the same way I did the ones on the card, only instead of starting on a piece of paper or fabric, I did a row of chains, and I actually did um, 18 chains, and then I did the same thing that we did before. I did the scallops with du seven double crochets, then skip a chain, do a single crochet, seven double crochet, skip a chain, do a single crochet, until we have this. And then I, I just tied the two threads in a knot at the end. And I think that I'm going to put it like in her hair. The question is, do I want to put it here or here or here? I do think I'm going to trim these. I think they're a little bit long. I think I want to put it here. And we're going to use some um, tacky glue. Let's see. This is the um, turbo tacky, the stuff that dries pretty quick. It dries clear. Let's trim some of these long threads because I, I don't mind them hanging there but let's just trim them a little shorter because they're a little too long. And I want to glue those down so they hang down like it's like a piece of jewelry in her hair, like a hair clip. I'm going to glue the curly end of it down over here. Hold it for a second. And there we go. Laughter is the best medicine. I love that. So think about adding some fibers to your page in a new and unique way uh, and see what happens. I love the way this turned out. I love the texture. I love the feel of it. And I love the laughing face. So that's it for this month and that's it for this week. Um, I can't wait to see what the other teachers do. I know you can't either. Um, if you want to see all their links and find them easily, think about joining the Facebook group, a uh, <laughs> not A Life of Art and Self-Expression, My Creative uh, Year. The link is in my link tree, which is in the description below. If you click on it, you're going to find every single place I am on the internet, including My Creative Year. Um, so think about joining, and that's an easy place to get all the links for all the different teacher videos and other um, 
commu um, helpful hints and tips and community. Um, it's really a great place to hang out, and uh, we hope to see you there. That's it for this week. That's it for this month from me for my creative year. Um, don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thank you.